I have to wear a disguise because I'm becoming so important. Mm, yeah. I mean, too many yeah. people know who I am right now, so I have to disguise myself, you know. That happens. Yeah, that's why I'm wearing a toque. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's my winter Canadian disguise. Ah. How are things? Uh, they're good. <laughs> How are things with you? I'm uh, I'm getting shit done, man. I am getting shit done. Fuck yeah. What yeah. kind of shit? Huh? What kind of shit? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> kind of shit that needs to get done when you're building a plan to take over the planet. Mm. That kind of shit. That kind of shit. Nice. Right. How much is that involved? Well, you know, it's a bit of this, a bit of that. You know, mm. I can't explain it all here. It takes too long because there's so much being done. There's so much to do. Yeah. It's a little time. Yeah. There's so much shit to get done. It's insane. I know. I know. And How I want to get some shit done. There's other shit you have to get done. God. No, every day I have to get shit done. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> So what, what, what kind of shit are you getting then? I almost brushed my teeth this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I ate some food. <laughs> I went to a driving lesson, which I hated. Did you I kill it? After I was like, I I did a round on the phone for half an hour after, and so like I'm still coming down a little bit. <laughs> I. <didn't... laughs> oh man, I like being this picky and difficult this time. <laughs> Um, we're in a Cortez tomorrow, I think. We are. Um, I've been, I got like six garbage bags of my stuff I'm going through. Wait, like, oh, that's a chair, that's other, look at all this crap. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I went through everything I owned and was getting rid of a bunch of stuff. Uh -huh. That was good. That was like a three day mission. Um, I still have laundry to do. Like snow stuff. I went sledding on Valentine's Day. I had the best Valentine's Day that I've ever had in my life. Really? Yeah, it was like up to par. Like it was, it was the anything that I could hope for and everything I could ask for that I didn't even have to ask for. Really? Mm -hmm. What happened? I went, I went sledding with Lindsay and Ian and Nigel, and we went up to Mount Doug and we sledded down the whole mountain, oh, and nice. it was just so fun. It was so fun. We sat on the hill and like talked about like Hitler's frequency machines um, into space and Hitler on Mars and sled down a mountain. <laughs> I mean, I, I usually equate Valentine's Day with Hitler too, so that's... <laughs> and then we went and got Indian food and played magic. We all sat at the bar and got a bunch of gin and tonics and just played magic. And there were like two hours and we used Nigel's ADHD medicine um, as a little topic for cards for a plus one. Um, I left some socks at the entranceway that were wet. Uh, <laughs> a guy chased me with some hand sanitizer. <laughs> so, so Lindsay plays magic? Mm hmm I didn't know that. Jesus. I know. Nigel brought up the magic and they were playing. That's perfect. It was amazing. How was your Valentine's Day? Oh, I had uh, eight screaming women here, uh, dancing and uh, doing goddess stuff. Of course, I wasn't involved. I was in the other room, just hearing their laughing and screaming. <laughs> that made me feel kind of depressed because I was all alone. <laughs> oh, no. Alone in a group of people. Yeah. And then by the time there was some sort of sensual thing with I guess 20 other couples online at about 6 30 or 7 that a friend of uh Janelle's was putting on and, and by the time it started both of us were too tired because <laughs> while they're prancing around I it wasn't didn't quite I I was probably the least romantic I've ever been in my life I liked my Valentine's Day because there was no romance was that right 
Oh, wait, there was some after. <laughs> well, the romance is usually a precursor. Romance is setting the stage for the other romance. Yeah, like we made some crafts and I made this tandem. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I made this little like creature out of clay. We baked them in the oven and. Wow, all day long? All day long, all day long fun. Wow, with, with the four of you guys, like with four people? And then the day before that, I was at um, the studio in Duncan with Kai and Jay. And we, take, we made some Liberty Cup tea with some Liberties that Kai harvested. Spent the whole night playing drums and jamming. Went to Kay's day's cabin in the woods. Had a wood stove. Woke up in the morning, smoked chonga and had a snowball fight. Like, what a good life! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good weekend. Best weekend ever. I love the snow. Mm. Huh. I'm going to school to be a somatic sex educator. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. A somatic sex educator. What does that entail? I just found out like a month ago, or like three weeks ago, that um, it works with breath work, massage to heal um, sexual trauma in the body to like transmute people from a state of like, I guess, sexual trauma to sexual liberation. Like just working with the in a different energetics with the body and like the pleasure systems. Yeah. I'm listening. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still still doing the school, so I'm still learning about it, but it's fun. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. It's like a two thousand dollar course. Um, and then Lindsay had a hookup with someone that had a hookup on Salt Spring. So a group of us are now doing the course for free because we have all the course materials and she just gave us her login. Oh, wow. Yeah. <sighs> How was the meeting on Sunday? Did it, did it end up happening? Yeah, uh, there was the six of us and use the tool we use the tool uh it's uh, the aim is by march 1st to have it ready but noah okay. started university noah's going back to university i just found out and so cool. for what for computer design and, and game design i guess i think cool and he's also doing the liciel foundation thing he also may have a new girlfriend and he's launching a game, Game of Planets, his game on March 1st. I keep getting emails about that. <laughs> oh, because you haven't activated. You, you signed up, but you haven't activated. Did you sign up? I signed up. I thought I activated. <laughs> what kind of emails are you getting? Like, the guardians of the planets are waiting for you. Like, no, 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 no. Oh, nice. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, so, have you guys just been doing the choose your remedy in the videos? Yeah. Um, -bum. Yeah, I, I'm working all the time in the background on stuff to get things ready, but there's endless amounts of things to get things ready. It's basically working all the time. How's the website? It's I think over 400 pages now. Now, and if you if you click on choose a remedy, if you click the card, it takes you to the website. Cool. Let me show you that. I want to show you that. I took two ladies through it yesterday that I'd never met before. That nice. I, I, put, uh, I asked on Facebook for people to come. I think it started with 13 and then ended up with two or something, but at least they did it. Mm -hmm. okay. That's good. Okay. So, 
What question you got? Oh, um, hmm. I don't know. Um, caught me off guard. <laughs> um, Why we divine a question then? Yeah, that sounds good. Which uh, area? Mm. Business question. Business question. How do we create more synergy in our business? Very nice. Mm -hmm. Loyalty, extrusion, mm. jurisdiction. Mm. So if someone to go loyalty, they could press on loyalty. And you would go to the website. Oh, what? That looks amazing. Then you got the nine loyalties, then you got get training, loyalty, what? and then like a video. What? That's is so it? cool. Is it? That's so cool. I love the video. So, I love the video. so the, then we find people who are training people in loyalty. So we find like 72, over 100 teachers. And then if we're getting hundreds of thousands of people here, hopefully a few of them figure out how to, to use this. Mm-hmm. Um, wow, the nine loyalties. Can we look at? Oh, okay, it's gone. Oh, you want to see that? <laughs> no, it's fine. I'll, I'll survive. <laughs> I'll live another right. day. It's the most important planetary guardian thing. So here's a blog. So this is the extrusion conversation. Here's a blog. All of them have blogs. So here we would get one person in charge of each blog who's like the expert in extrusion conversations. Wow. That's awesome because the word extrusion, that means nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the resources that leave the system. Okay. Same with jurisdiction. Like uh, that, uh, my brain just goes, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. Uh huh. So it'd, it'd be and like, suddenly it, I'm like, nothing. nothing. If, if you were taking the garbage out, that would be an extrusion conversation. If you were taking waste out of your system in any way, that's an extrusion conversation. For me, the word extrusion signifies like feeling kind of like excluded. I have this weird thing in my brain where like words don't work like the normal meaning of words. I've, I've changed them to a different meaning for me. Mm. Um, so a lot of times it's kind of difficult. So yeah, that that's very different. I mean, it's basically Anytime, again, a resource is leaving your system. So like so, if I went pee, would that be an extrusion? Yes, that's an extrusion conversation. Hmm. So can I, I mean, using you could say word, I have to go for a pee and that could be an extrusion conversation. Or like, you could be like, please, um, excuse me. I have to go do an extrusion. Yes. <laughs> And then it's vague. They don't know quite what you're doing, but they know something's leaving. <laughs> and it's you because yes. you're going to another space. Yes. And it also, yeah. like, if a bouncer is taking a, somebody out of the bar, that's mm -hmm. an extrusion conversation. Excuse me, sir, you have to leave. Like You have to leave the bar because they did something stupid and now they have to go. So what would you say that word works with business? Well, in business, again, it would kind of like be all of any of the waste that's leaving, um, any people maybe that are getting fired, any okay. any data that could be leaving. Like, it's a very interesting thing because it's if you look at the, what is the boundary or the jurisdiction of the system, mm -hmm. then you see what's in and what's out. And so loyalty mm -hmm. is kind of like, if you have a loyalty to your system, you're going to understand what's in and what's out. You're going to understand know what's leaving and what's coming in ingestion is the other conversation ingestion is, okay. is, is more like in the mouth extrusion is more up the bum right it, it's like every system has things ways to bring something in and ways to take things out so it's a very systems thinking kind of conversation i mean most people don't use it but it's happening all the time cool it's like at the at different like that highways the, the roadways coming in the cars coming in they're like 
they're coming into the jurisdiction of that system. So that mm -hmm. would be an ingestion conversation, but the cars going out would be an extrusion if you really want to go that far. So it's creating understanding of the mind around systems everywhere, but then you can apply at different levels of system. Whoa. <laughs> Very exciting. Hmm. Very exciting stuff. So how do we create more synergy in our business? You, I guess, would, there's a loyalty to the people in the system for seeing what goes in and what comes out. That create more right. synergy. Because if you and I understand what that is, we'll all be working within the old business in a better way, I think. Mm -hmm. Exciting, eh? How do I do a screenshot? Do you see that? <laughs> how do I do a screenshot? Um, do you, how do I do a screenshot? It's like print screen, third button to the top right. Maybe hold something down like a shifter control or full screen speaker view, gallery view. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I gotta do a screen share. How do I do this? Ah, um, two virtual backgrounds, video settings, um, screen share. Let's see. Okay, can I do that? That's my window. Um, screen share, automatically share desktop. Um, enable remote control of all applications. Sure. Does that give me a screenshot? Can you can you see print screen? Mm -mm. On your buttons on your computer. I think you're so old. What? I think you're so old. I think you're saying I'm so old. <laughs> no. Yeah. Video settings. Oh, share a screen. Let me let me let me share my fucking screen. Oh, you're looking for share a screen? Yeah. That's at the that's at the bottom. Right. There's six buttons on the bottom. Security, participants, chat, share a screen. Oh, I gotta let you share a screen. Oh, so, can I share a screen? Yeah, let me let me just make you the Okay, I make you the host and All now right. now you share a screen. Sorry about that. That's, That's okay. I, I was learning videos. It still doesn't let me share screen. Try oh, it. Share screen. We, uh, okay. <laughs> I have no idea what you're trying to do. <laughs> and you're going, share screen, share screen. Share. Wait. Okay. Ah. How do I? This is weird. Well, no. Yeah. Go on your, uh, make sure your screen is up. I mean, you got to see, you got to make sure your that screen is actually up somewhere. Sometimes it's a URL that's not up. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I don't want to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wanted to. What do you want to do? <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Um, it was, the screen was first. <laughs> It's so on topic. The screen was frozen. Um, there was our videos, but then above it, there was this frozen video of me just looking confused and it wouldn't go away. And so I kept seeing this little picture of my face being like, <laughs> I don't know. It's not important. Oh, it's gone now too. I fixed it. Okay. <laughs> Planetary guardians, the inner mechanisms. Learning. <laughs> cool. 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 Any word from Agent Kyle? No, I haven't talked to him. I I kind of fell off the 
fell off the Cuyahoga Creek radar wheel after I was there and I got yelled at. I'm such a, such a baby. Uh, Don't like school places when they're giving their good time and to a cause and they get yelled at. What do you think? You know, it just hurts. <laughs> I know, I'm scarred. I'm scarred. I actually like I feel I feel wounded. <laughs> I feel wounded from that place. That was a lot of trauma coming up and maybe I needed to deal with it in such a sacred space with the old growth. But I felt such a separation. And it's funny too, because I feel like the last year was really prevalent on like a lot of separation through different viewpoints. And that was kind of like a bigger picture of like feeling it all kind of collectively maybe. Well, all I know is every day we were there, we were asked to leave <laughs> by different people for different reasons. And they never actually, again, investigated before they assessed. It's just all, you're out. Well, yeah, I've kind of given up on caring about that place. Maybe that's harsh. Not too intelligent to me. No, it's like but it's, that's it's, humankind. <laughs> well, it's minor tribalism. It's like us and them and, and just, I guess, just how groups can be, you know, that aren't that sophisticated, haven't been around a while and they're trying to do something, but. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's thesis. <laughs> really? You think they had agents there? Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. No, well, not going to get super into it, but there's um, an email, email, the person, okay, wait, how do, how do I explain this properly? Um, so they decided that they wanted all the different blockades to be attached to the same kind of thing, Fairy Creek, instead of creating them separate. So if anything happens to one blockade, all the other blockades take the hit, even though they're separate in different spaces, different people running it, da 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 da, da right. which doesn't make sense with an organization, especially if you're going out um and there's the person that wanted to do that is on the email list and is telling everyone like where the blockades will go and da, 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 but they never show up to the blockades and then they're trying to kind of control what's happening to the collective of the blockade as a whole by emails but they never go there huh. and then who's this i don't know <laughs> who who's who's this person i don't know i don't know i just um do you think it could be ceases <laughs> I think it's ceases. That'd be funny. No, I think it ceases. Well, <coughs> well, they need I, something to do. I mean, that they're <coughs> ever since their July disaster, they just they embarrassed themselves so badly around trying to find activists that were actual just hair, heroin addicts, and they they were found out to be exerting pressure for them to to be terrorists because they actually weren't terrorists and they had like 150 agents on the case they were spending millions of dollars and they 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 were trying to get these people to... <laughs> am i going down a road that you don't like no okay well my my view on it has been shared with me through a thread on Telegram. <laughs> um, but someone has this idea that you remember when the queen took all the kids out of school in the Kootenays and kind of like abducted them. And then someone has an idea that the queen ate them. But someone had the idea that the queen took them and then put them in all these pristine education centers and then put them to all these pristine schools and all this stuff and got them all racked up into all these areas and then put them back in Canada and then got them on the indigenous rights movement and that's why the movement hasn't really gone very far is because the people that are organizing it are linked up through thesis and the queen well it makes sense because none of these i find so many organizations are pathetic in terms of if they're actually trying to achieve some results <laughs> you know but they, they just kind of i don't know like the nonprofit, like anything that isn't corporate government seems doomed to failure because there's always infighting and there's all, and there's a lack of resources. The other side's always paid. Like it, it's, there's not enough to me. You got to organize like an army. Yeah. Especially <laughs> nowadays, get your troops, get your guns. 
Well, more so just just hierarchy and having having as autonomous cells, the ability for autonomous cells to work on their own, but then have some sort of infrastructure to connect them together. That's what planetary guardians is. It's like we are the missing element. We are the media system. You have your hand on the pulse of these places. Mm-hmm. Being Brooke Bond secret agent. Hey, did, what did you think of the very secret plan uh, video? I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was cute. It was nice to see everyone's little faces. It made me so happy. And I was like, ah. Can you believe that only five people responded? Like most of the people didn't respond. The people in the video? Yeah. They don't even know they're in it. They didn't even watch it. Did you say you're in this? No. I think I did. I think I did. But I tagged them, but they don't even look at what I did tag. So you tag a lot of people in a lot of stuff. I I hold back. I want to be tagging people all the time. (laughs) I deleted my Facebook. Well, I I deactivated my Facebook. I saw that. I don't see that, but which is great, by the way. Oh what? It's great. It's great. I think everyone should do it. Yeah. Like Zuckerberg, honestly. Yeah. No, I'm just, yeah. So, had you, like, when you watched it, what kind of emotions did you get? Um, hmm. I think I had, <laughs> I had an emotion that was like, what video editor does Elijah use? And then I was like, hmm. And I was like, huh, it looks like an educational video. And I was like, I wonder what, how he edits it. And then I was like, ah. And I was like, ah. And I was like, oh, look at this giant little face. And I was like, cute. And then I was like, oh, it's them. And I was like, ah. And then I was like, hey, it's me. I was like, cool. And then I was like, fuck, I should take better pictures of myself. That one's been used for fucking everything. It's years old. And then I was like, hmm, I should probably put some better pictures. Maybe I just send a better picture of myself to Elisha. And then I was like, do I have any good pictures? And then I was like, aw. And I was like, aw, it's so aw. And I was like, oh, it's a sweet video. I'm like, that's cute. And that's that's kind of how it went. It was like a lot of aws and cues. Because you didn't give much feedback. No one's giving me any feedback on that. And I think it's like, it's the beginning of a new show. It's the start. It's, it's like. <laughs> I was be- actually, no, I had a thought. I was wondering why Kyle was in the video and also Laura. Because when that- you. That has been why I haven't put it forward before because ah, that's a big uh, that's a big disconnect. But then every show is going to have disconnects, right? Not everyone's going to get along, especially in a comedy show. Yeah, but yeah, I know. Yeah, what and then I started wondering about that. I'm like, are you talking to Kyle again? And then I was like, well, how does Laura feel about that? And I was like, well, if he's in the team, that would mean that he would probably be coming to the calls for different things than want to be a part of more stuff. And then I was like, oh, that doesn't sound very good. And then I was like, aw. <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd filmed you watching it. It was probably just me like this. <laughs> I think I was in bed in the dark and I was like like probably like like scrunched up like I made it like six months ago and I, I didn't put it up and I and it was just I don't know why at some point you throw the the felt like the timing was right but I tell you it's depressing it's just depressing that's it depresses me the 20 people that everyone's going yay let's do it Come on, as opposed to fucking almost no feedback, or the feedback that comes in is like, eh. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if you got everyone one on one, we're like, hey, can I have like a 10 minute Zoom call with you? And you're like, how did you feel about that video? Let's put it on screen share right now. I don't know why you watch it. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to stick it on? Shit. Okay. Right now? Yeah. Do you want me to? Sure. I mean, I'm the captain, so I got to do screen share now. Oh, yeah. We're, we're giving it back to me. No, we, we do Do we do it? Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, you want to stick it up? Yeah. Ba, 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 da, da, da. All right, let me just sorry, this is unprofessional, but um, cool. Okay. So, <laughs> subdued. I'm worried about him. He was like active like 16 hours ago. Look at this. You alive? 
Um, okay. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder, I mean, do you have a link to this? It's right there. You passed it. Did I? No. Yeah, yes. No. Yes, it's right there. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all my tabs. This is so overwhelming. I don't know how my computer's doing it. Blah, blah, blah. Inside the mind of a master procrastinator. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to get rich with this dog. How do you like the music? It's good. Should I do it full screen? Yeah. Let's see. Your live react. <laughs> Where was that? Uh, that was Eternal Abundance a long time ago. <laughs> oh, cool. I love Eternal Abundance. <laughs> Do you know what that is? This is my calendar. <laughs> What did you think of the fields, the, using those fields? <laughs> what field? The family field, and then the business field, and then- I thought it was sweet. See, these are good pictures. Like, I was looking at that, I'm like, fuck, like, <laughs> give me someone for those shots. Do you know those guys? Yeah, no. you, well, your picture's a little bit different. Yours it looks is against... majestic. Yeah, but you're playing a secret agent. They're the- <laughs> Like, those are such nice photos. Yeah. Oh, the family field. Wait, are those, are those, are those people family? Yeah, they're all brothers. But oh, they, that's so cool. Zemir and Ramayan didn't even respond. And and the, the youngest guy did, but it was kind of like, I don't know, wasn't that excited. You, you never know how someone's going to respond on Messenger there. Like, he could have been pumped. He could have been like doing a jog. He could have been doing a flip. He could have been doing a kick flip while screaming, yelling like, fuck yeah, this is amazing. And he would be like, that's that's cool on Facebook. If that's true, that they, they would convey something to me in that form, I think. I got it. <laughs> the business? So is this about crypto? Because it has a Bitcoin. Lisa! That's such a good photo there. Nice. Yeah, that's a dream team for finance. Is it it? Oh, it's so good. <laughs> and this is another great team. Each team is a I great that team. Photo. I love that photo of Jordan. This is a good team. Yeah. These are such good teams. I know. <gasps> Here's your team. What happened to the music? See, yours is yours is kind of like the most unique one, I think. Why is that? What am I? Well, again, secret, secret agent. agent. You gotta look different, right? You can you can go anywhere. So I'm running like Shambu's in the friendship field. Are you guys good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was to... thinking about that too when I saw him in the friendship field. I was like, okay. Well, see, I'm gonna do another one of these and cut out all the people who didn't respond. That's rough. <laughs> Old growth protection. Okay, what's the game of now? That's that's like a guy who has a he's invented this game of now idea, and it's like in every now moment you can turn it into a game and and sort of bring more value out. Cool. That's and me. I love that. He does lots of fun things on the spot. He's been doing it for a number of years. Cool. Um, we've been, we've done one-on-ones for like four months in a row once every cool. week. We, we talk for an hour, very interesting, uh, Scottish man. And he's got this design of a game. That's like the best idea for a game I've ever heard. And there, there's nine portals 
and one of the portals is to us planetary guardians cool. but, there, but but there's nine different portals to different games from this tavern and we're in the kitchen and so every room has a portal to another game and he's the he wrote this story about it and, and when i heard it it was it was just genius like utter genius like by far the best idea i've heard no, so, so cool like our stuff is all structure stuff and it's kind of boring in a sense but it's meant so for anyone to do anything with it his is a very a story right that has very funny characters and and we're in and the funny like i'm in the kitchen he wrote me in to the story and then the portal goes to all my work and then gregory shepherd is another guy and the three of us have kind of met a while ago and he's got this library a 4d space free space library which is like a an entry again into the new paradigm or an entry into a new way of organizing knowledge and so he's making he said i'm the first move of 144 moves and every person gets a move if you wanted a move we could get you a move on the game and, and it's like these things are going to go forward by these originators these people with this unique knowledge to sort of make a move to start start working with other people like i haven't really worked with many other people with all my tools Ooh. so that's another it's a huge sort of stepping stone of like all we have to do is ally ourselves with people that have new paradigm stuff right Anyone who's doing new paradigm stuff and, and you, you got to find the people at your age, your generation, like, and, and your generation is the generation to bring it into the world pretty much, right? Like the new paradigm toolkit is pretty much going to be, I think, younger people. I don't know how to meet anyone my age. <laughs> well, whatever age you meet, you know, I don't know. Because it's some, don't you think I see you like teaching teens? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll have better luck on Cortez. Maybe. No, for sure. As soon as we get set up with the online infrastructure, you're going to be set up. Like three or four months down the road, we should have quite a lot of... Uh, a lot more resources. We just have to show one thing. I'm just kind of building up steam a bit. We we uh, we've got something really good, and it's and there's masses of other things to come together. So it's just you got to find your doing, find your bliss, find your drive. Really, you know, anchor in what you really want to do. Yeah. Like, and if youth empowerment is is can be called a theme or your main thing. You know what we're meant to do is help you support that and i think looking at your next year looking at how you want to plan time looking at you know what do you want to accomplish and i'm supposed to sort of like again help you out with everybody else is that the plan that's part of it that's Here, really good keep, keep going these three are big wigs this is another super team the, the, the darmendra and juan carlos the other two guys i'm working with at Liciel. And Fernanda is just this whiz of a woman who's a yeah. friend, and this is a this is more global team. These guys are like world class thinkers. Not to say everyone else isn't, but they they really work at a <laughs> at an evolved level. And then I get to bring in conspiracy, building seven, like. Forced vaccinations, very timely. You made this six months ago? Yeah. Get the big map in. <laughs> what do you think about that? Everyone going for a million bucks? No. You like that idea? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. We go raise 20 million. No, why not? <laughs> Who 
cool. Ooh, that was a good ass <laughs> I've been getting really into the stock market. Ah, what's mm -hmm. the latest? Um, the latest is, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what Canadian stocks to invest in. My roommate was telling me about a stock called Noomi that's doing um, like magic mushroom tests on mushroom, like mushroom therapy. And they're based out of Vancouver. And they wow. just got to go with the FDA to like bring it in. And like ma magic mushrooms are kind of on the teeter, like being legalized for that kind of format. What are they called? The stock or? Yeah. It's called Numi. Numi? N-U-M-I. And then there's also another one, it's M-M-E-D, but it's my medicine. And they're working with psychedelics and DMT and mescaline and mushrooms to help rewire neurotransmitters for people with like mental health. Um, that's kind of 5% in the last day too, but that's not a Canadian. Oh yeah, that's also Canadian. Um, yeah, it's a neuropharmacal company that discovers, develops, and psychedelic medicines improve health, promote wellness, and the help with suffering, um, da, 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 da. and they're based out of Toronto. Um, that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, renewable energy and all that kind of stuff is definitely going to grow up in the next couple of years. There's like a, I'm looking more into penny stocks um, that are going to go up um, in the next like three months or so, like things that are like not even maybe like a cent right now or less that are going to go up to like a dollar or two, which seems like like there's a drone company that's going up and then there's like a comp compostable cup company based out of Vancouver that's going up a lot. Um, I'm just trying to kind of take the values that Lori talks about where like you're using your value system to kind of make currency. Oh, and really? I feel like it's really important. Yeah, so like thinking about like psychedelics or like compostable or like environmental things and things that I'm passionate about that I want to put money in, but things that would also have a lot of hope to come back and make it so I can be successful through with them as well, while making the world a better place, which isn't always the thing. Also, Bitcoin's going up so much. It's insane. You probably already know about that, but like it's it's gone up like what like how much in the last week? Yeah, it's gone up two thousand dollars in the last week. Yeah, Chinoa monitors the cryptos quite closely, and she's very excited about a number of them. Polkadot, I'm excited about, and yeah, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. I invested in Dogecoin, which was dumb, and it went down right after I lost forty bucks. And then Nigel sent me this thing that the people that hold Dig Dogecoin, there's 20 people that hold the most Dogecoin in the world. Uh -huh. And I'm pretty sure those people are more like elite millionaires. So when Elon Musk was saying like Dogecoin and all these people were saying Dogecoin, he wasn't really helping the little guys. He was just helping these 20 people that have the most money in their wallets, which is hilarious. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, I think I can make it up to a million dollars in the stock market if I invest properly. And that's kind of interesting. I think every person when they're like 15 years old should learn about the stock market. Because what if you just take your savings money and put like 100 bucks every week into the stocks? I mean, when you get older, you're probably going to be a millionaire if you start that at a really young age. Yeah, that's good idea. It's pretty cool knowledge. But I feel like there's going to be a stock market crash, crash and I feel like it's going to grow into crypto instead. I was kind of preparing for that. I think uh, I got to go. Yeah, okay. I have another meeting started soon, but uh, great speaking with you. Good yeah. information. Yeah. And, uh, we shall continue with the very secret plan. Sounds good.